Hello and welcome back. Um, so in this video, we will look at uh, random forests, um, so which is based on banded decision trees. So um, we saw that um, bagging can be used or bootstrap aggregation can be used to uh, improve the variance um, in uh, when you are using binary decision trees. This is by training a um, bunch of decision trees using bootstrap samples of your uh, training data. Okay. So, because uh, binary decision trees tend to overfit having a very large number of those, uh, the variance um, reduce, is reduced and it perform and, and improves generalization performance. Okay. However, the problem with bagging is that um, it is possible for trees to be correlated in the sense that uh, if we have a very strong couple of strong features which uh, which always split first or the, or most of the, split, the most um, what do you call the best information gain is obtained by splitting on those features. Then no matter uh, how many trees you average over that they are correlated. So beyond a point bagging will not reduce the error in your predictions. Okay. So um, this is primarily again to reiterate because uh, so there will be some uh, few indicative uh, features or a bunch of strong features which lead to maximum information gain and uh, averaging cor correlated variables will not help reducing the variance. So uh, in order to deal with problem, uh, we do something called uh, <coughs> random forests. Um, as I guess the name implies, it is again a bunch of decision trees, but there is a um, uh, difference from how we do uh, with compared to bagging. So, with bagging uh, we grow decision trees from multiple bootstrap samples. So, this is here is our training data and the blue highlighted area is what we are choosing um, as the training data as part of the, the entire data set and the blue uh, region is where we choose the training data from. Um, as you saw he, um, the previous lectures, this is just the movie uh, recommendation um, uh, database. So, the uh, date of the movie, the title of the movie, the budget. So, you have a date, title of the movie, budget, the domestic total gross, the director of the movie, the rating and the runtime are given. Um, and so, we are just choosing this, um, this subset highlighted in blue as our training data. Okay. So, what we do is we select with uh, with bagging we just selected with replacement um, you know <coughs> random samples from the training data. So, which that is basically we bootstrap the training data to produce. So, if we have uh, one set of training data we produce let us say in this case three sets of training data from the original training data. So, as you see the blue box keeps moving around inside this uh, white table which is the actual total number of uh, data sets available to you and with each bootstrapped training data sample you will fit a tree, a binary tree and we saw and we will we will not go into details, but we saw last video how um, we uh, for a per given test data set we will run the test data set to all the trees that we have trained using the bootstrap data and we will just average or in this case maximum voting for classification and average for regression. Okay. So, um, for random forests again it is the same principle that we will grow decision trees from multiple bootstrap samples with the exception that so uh, with the exception that even the uh, features will be chosen at random. So, let us say we have let us say look at this particular tree here which is chose uh, trained using this particular data set a uh, bootstrap data set highlighted in blue we would not use all the features. So, at the root node I have cut out this these two features here these two columns of features. Okay. And when we come to the particular node here again I have cut out to um, have some of the features for let us say uh, this I left out the title feature again and uh, grown by uh, decision tree. Okay. So, the, the difference between this bagging and random forest is that uh, from a very top level viewpoint is that when we grow these multiple decision trees from bootstrap samples not only do we bootstrap the uh, data training data set, but we also only choose a subset of the features available to us at every node in your tree in every tree. Okay. So, what happens? So, this kind of reduces the correlation between the trees that we train. Okay. So, that is the principle behind uh, random forest. So, it is a modification to bagging wherein we grow decision trees from multiple bootstrap samples. Let us say we have m data points, we, we will have uh, bootstrap samples m data points. And um, for every tree at every split we will consider only a random subset of features. So, let us say you have total of n features we typically use small n I use capital N here that is fine. Uh, let us say d features 
and typically d is square root order of square root of n okay so at every node in a decision tree in every decision tree you will only choose a subset of the features so the learning on the subset reduces the correlation between the trees okay the disadvantage behind um, um, using a, a tree uh, like a random uh, tree this way like it basically uh, building a random forest from trees which are trained on bootstrap samples as well as randomly chosen features is that um, it, dif it becomes difficult to interpret okay because uh, every node even though we, we, we can, even if we grow all the trees to a particular depth every node might be split based on a different variable so it will be very difficult for us to interpret which variable gave the best information gain and things of that sort. Okay. However, there is a huge improvement in performance compared to bagging because we are decorrelating the trees that we are training. Okay. So, we typically would train hundreds of trees and um, as we saw in bagging for a regression output we will, uh, we will consider an average of all the trees outputs of all the trees and for a um, classification output we will do maximum voting. Okay. So, this is a brief note about random forests. Again, the fundamental principle is a decision tree, just that how we train them and how we interpret the results are the only difference. Okay. Thank you.